Gareth Davies, Shadow Exchequer Secretary of the Treasury, is with us now. Who are you backing? I'm backing Robert Jenrick. Why? A uh, number of reasons, but principally my area of interest is on the economy. As a former Treasury Minister, I think he has identified some of the challenges that we face going forward, namely uh, having an offer for younger people, uh, making sure that our towns are not left behind and making sure that we have the infrastructure we need. Obviously, we have made progress on all of those areas in government, but he has a platform and the ideas that resonate most with me in terms of where we want to go and where we need to go. I also think he's a very strong performer. I think he'll hold this Labour government to account uh, very effectively, and I think he'll unite the party. You say uh, not leaving towns behind. Uh, in what way? Well, he grew up in uh, Wolverhampton and uh, is from the East Midlands. I represent an East Midlands uh, constituency with two towns of Grantham and Bourne. Uh, and we've seen over uh, many years uh, a focus on metropolitan cities, uh, both in terms of government funding, but also investment from outside uh, organisations and businesses. And we need to spread opportunity around the country. That's why we got elected in 2019 on a levelling up agenda. We made some progress, but we need to make more progress going forward. And I think he gets that, not just because of where he grew up, but because uh, he appreciates that in order to grow our economy, to tackle productivity that's been pervasively low over decades, we've got to get every part of the country moving and uh, towns are a big part of that. So what do you make of uh, his comments on mass migration, turning cities such as Birmingham into segregated communities? Well, I think he, what he was saying is that it wasn't the whole city of Birmingham and it wasn't just Birmingham, it's pockets of uh, communities and certainly pockets of cities which are not as integrated as they should be or could be. And I think it's important in leadership elections like this, setting out uh, the challenges we face as a country, being honest about those challenges and having difficult conversations. And one of those is about the fact that clearly some communities are not as integrated as uh, they should be and we would like them to be. And that's what he was saying at the hustings. How does talking about segregated communities help with integration? How can it possibly help? I think, like I said, it's about uh, having an honest conversation about this, getting it on the agenda so that we can make progress. And uh, I think there's two parts to it. One is ensuring that we work with community leaders and public bodies and the police and schools to uh, bring about a more cohesive, integrated society, which uh, makes our country better. And secondly, it is about having an honest conversation about mass migration, where legal migration has significantly increased over the last um, you know, couple of decades, and we need to tackle that. That's why he's calling for a legal cap on uh, migration to ensure that we can get that down and we can be a bit more uh, controlled in terms of who's coming to the country, and then once they're here, how they integrate into our country and our society. Uh, when he was on the show last week, actually, he was talking about how his policies, policies had helped with stopping the boats. We saw so many people needlessly lose their lives yesterday. So how effective has that been going forward? Well, it's a complete tragedy and uh, what happened uh, yesterday and this, this week. And there's a number of tragedies that we can point to. And that's exactly why we absolutely have to tackle this issue. It's why we had... But in you government. had a very long time to be able to do that and threw a load of money at it and it didn't work. But... Well, we, we were making progress. We had challenges for sure that you and I have talked about before, legal challenges, uh, you know, in terms of uh, making progress with having a third country process uh, applications and those coming to our country. Labour well, have, have gone up abandoned 30%. that. The numbers have gone up 30% in the last year of your government. Well, we needed to get control of it and we had a plan to process overseas and to make sure that if you come here illegally you do not stay here and have that deterrent effect. Having that deterrent was the key to tackling uh, illegal migration. That deterrent has now been abandoned and, and left with no plan in place by this Labour government and Rob has set out uh, a plan to tackle that. We, If we don't tackle that, uh, one, it will lead to more tragedies that we're seeing recently. It will embolden the gangs to bring more people over under dangerous conditions. And the public will absolutely not trust us again if we can't have a clear plan to tackle what is a major issue for a lot of people. you had 14 years to do that. 
Well, the issue of the boat crossings is a relatively new phenomenon since 2018. Before that, they were coming across in, in lorries. And it, you know, we've never been shying away from the fact that it's a really complicated issue, very complicated in terms of legal um, uh, issues and challenge, which is why, you know, again, uh, Rob and his leadership campaign has set out a plan to, to overcome some of those legal challenges. But now it falls on the Labour government to tackle this, like we were trying to do with a deterrent effect. They say it doesn't they work, to... and that's why they're going at it a different way. Well, that, I don't know what that different way the... is. We they do. Need to... We do. You know that they're going after the gang masters. That's their plan. Well, we were going after the gang it didn't masters. Didn't work. And well, we did actually reduce it uh, and significantly. Then it went up by 30%. But the thing that would have stopped the boats ultimately is to stop people getting on the boats in the first place, and yes, that's having and that's the That's what deterrent. they were planning to do. I'm or not should sure I call them is. the government? I'm not, I'm not sure that is. Uh, we've not seen any kind of deterrent effect coming out from this Labour government, and I, I encourage them to come out with it. They've not been in more government for less than two months so far, so we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Uh, talk to me about Grenfell before I let you go. Should legal action follow uh, this long-awaited report? Well, clearly, Grenfell was a tragedy, and we should never forget those who uh, died and the survivors. It's why we launched and commissioned the, the public inquiry in the first place. Uh, and took action in government to both, you know, fund the remediation and identify buildings of risk, but also strengthen regulation. Uh, the report's out later today. I, I can't obviously prejudge what it's going to say, uh, but I would certainly encourage uh, government and we would support any measures to strengthen action to make sure that that tragedy never happens again. Tragedy or a crime? I'm not going to get into that. I'm sure um, you followed the. I'm sure you followed the inquiry, and you know exactly uh, what uh, came out in the first phase of that inquiry. Well, so I put it to you again: Is it a tragedy or a crime? It's a complete tragedy. Uh, any loss of life under those circumstances, uh, we need to learn from and do everything we can. As I say, in government, we did put in place billions of pounds to uh, make sure that buildings at risk are tackled and identified, as well as strengthening the regulation. But this is not something that uh, should stand still. We should con constantly review uh, what action government can take. And the review out today, the report out today, will have recommendations, and we'll look at those very carefully. OK, it's good to see you. Thanks very much indeed. Who's going to be first out in the leadership campaign? Uh, not long election? to wait. We'll see. Who do you think? No idea. We'll see. You think they'll stride, don't you? <laughs> no idea. We'll OK, see. it's good to see you. Thank you.